Today, I'm talking about alignment. I screwed up the SVG on this file organizer thing, and basically I need to flip these little teeth up. And I know I could just reprint it, but I figured this was a great opportunity to show you how I get perfect alignment with my Glowforge. Now, I use this mostly on the little Glowforge Aura, but I've also used it on the big Glowforges at school, and I bet you could use it on any other laser cutter out there, like the Xtool. So I've uploaded the SVG into the app, and my general strategy here is to print alignment circles before I print the actual thing. Because I have Glowforge Premium, I can actually just like insert a circle and stick it where I want. But if you don't have Premium, you're gonna have to upload a circle separately. For this one, I'm actually going to branch out a little bit, and I think I'm going to do a line because basically I want the bottom of my new teeth to be right at the top of my old teeth. So I think I'm gonna keep my first circle, take all of this, and I want my line to be right at the top of the teeth. The circle is going to help me figure out if I'm like left-right aligned perfectly, and I'm gonna have the circle be right in between the first and second upward teeth. So now I'm still just gonna print the circle and the line, but I'm not gonna be cutting all the way through. I'm just going to be cutting a slight like outline basically for me to make sure everything's aligned. Power of one. And let's see where that goes. The line, you see that little mark right there. So it's a little low. I'm gonna wanna move up one. So that mark is the scoring line. So I am at the right height and here are my circles. And I think this second top one is the most recent one because it moved up a little bit. So I'm in the le correct left right area. Because I'm working with plywood, any scoring it does, I can sand off. But if I was working with leather and it scored it, I would not be able to sand it off. So because I'm working with plywood, I'm always just have it score what I'm gonna do first if I need it perfectly correct. But know that if you are not working with plywood or you're working with something that you can't sand off, if you've done all of this, you're pretty darn close. Now, if I'm trying to align multiple cuts so that they line up perfectly, then I'm actually gonna go into the SVG and edit that. So here I've got this random piece. Let's just pretend that this piece is too big to do in one go and I'm gonna have to split it up and do it in two passes. So I'm just gonna start by making some little circles roughly close to where my cut mark is going to be. And then I'm gonna go in and chop this. And I'm using Illustrator, but you can do the same process on any sort of SVG creation device. So I have cut my SVG in half. I'm going to take all of this, copy it, stick it in a new file, a new whatever, and then delete each half. Delete, delete, and then on the other one, delete the other half, leaving those little circles. And now I have those cutesy little circles that can print off to the side and allow me to align things so that it lines up perfectly. And then I go and use those circles when I actually need to test my alignment, just like I did before. So in practice, you start totally normal. So on this one, I've uploaded the first half, and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut, because I don't actually need alignment for the first part. And I'm going to cut this just like I always would, um, except on my circles, I'm going to engrave them. Um, <laughs> sure. And then that way, it'll be easier for me to match it, because it's gonna be this big, dark circle. Okay, so part two is where we actually have to use some skill. And to start, I'm just gonna do my best to place it based on the picture. As I'm doing this, I'm also reminded that it really helps if you align your wood with the honeycomb so that you know it's perfectly straight. Um, I didn't do that before, so this might, this might not turn out as well as I had hoped an example would. And then the key here is when I'm moving things, I'm moving everything at once. Like never do I move only the circles. At this point, I think I've arranged it the best I can. Um, I'm going to ignore the things I don't want, just like before. Actually, at this point, it's basically the same as before. I am testing to try and get that circle aligned perfectly. Low power, one pass of just the circles. 
and it's a little low and a little to the left. Up a little bit, left a little bit. It actually looks like it was just about dead on. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close. And admittedly, if you are trying to do something where you need the fit to be perfect, which for some of these like little, whatever this is, joint, finger joint things you do, but I don't know, I did one of those the other day and the big low fortune was fine. So gets it pretty dang close. For most uses, it'll be close enough. And that's my technique. If you wanna see this in a full project, my lanyard video was the first one where I used it. So you can go check it out right there. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.